Hey guys, Luca here. Welcome to my Stamina Necromancer PvP build for the Blackwood chapter. I used the exact same setup like on my Stamina Warden. I will definitely test some other sets on other classes like Dedric Trickery or Powerful Assault. But for now, let's take a good look on this pure AoE burst build. As monster set, Barlog of course, it's the strongest monster set by far in terms of damage. It gives us over 11k penetration and 500 weapon damage with 500 ulti points. Both well fitted with a medium shoulder and a heavy helmet. On the body, 5 clever alchemist in 4 heavy and 1 medium, full impen by the way. This powerful set gives us 675 weapon damage for 20 seconds after used a potion. Try to make sure that you use the potion right before your ulti dump on jewelry, malakat as mythic item to especially empower our master brawler heads. It increases all your damage by 16% and decreases our critical damage by 50%. That's why I use heavy armor and I don't even have major savagery slotted. Malakat is still the best choice for this kind of setup. Then a 2 set piece bonus with a trainee ring and a trainee necklace. You could use 2 agility here for more max stamina instead. Full infused with weapon damage by the way. For non CP I recommend to use a stam cost reduction glyph instead of full weapon damage. On the front bar the most important weapon the master 2 H mall in sharpened with the berserker glyph. This juicy weapon hits extremely hard against multiple targets. I love to play it and I'm happy that it still didn't nerf it. But keep in mind this build is a full AoE build, don't expect to kill a good player in a 1 vs 1 with it. On the back bar a crafted 2 set piece uh, with critical repost which gives us extra critical resistance with a powered sword and a sturdy shield with the drained stamina poisons. If you don't have access to farm mythic items like mana cut, you could use powerful assault on the back bar or clever alchemist on the back bar with the medium armor triset Yandir, which gives us a ton of weapon damage. But then you have to use the crit potions for major savagery or you need to slot Camouflage Hunter for Mortal Coil. For a more tanky set I recommend to use Pariah, Seudit's Crest or Fortified Breath. Let's take a quick look on the skills. Front bar Executioner which I usually use at about 25%. You could swap to the other morph Reverse Slice but I still prefer the single target one just because Reverse Slice gets inflected by Mage Evasion so 20% less execute damage. Blast Bones our AoE burst damage which applies major defile on the target so 16% less healing. This skill is probably the biggest game change in this game for PvP. A AoE burst skill which applies major defile. <laughs> Keep in mind back in the days you could even reach I think over 50% defile with the old debuff and the CPs. Now it's more balanced. Then our spammable Brawler, which deals a ton of damage against multiple targets in combination with the 2H Master and it gives a huge shield too. Mortal Coil for sustain, it's kinda annoying sometimes, especially if you go line of sight, then it gets broken. Try to use it open feet more often, then it's super powerful, similar to the Bull Nudge with extra healing. Rally, our burst heal and Dawnback of Smiting as ultimate. For group play, you should use the Colossus instead. Depends on the group constellation. On the back bar, Count Chops for Major Breach, so almost 6k more penetration. Race Against Time, our Snare removable. With full tricyclus on the body, we can easily stain it on the stun core. Vigor, our Hot. Summoner's Armor, our Resistance buff. Spirit Guardian, super powerful, it gives a unique 10% damage mitigation and it heals a lot. As ultimate, I normally use Spellwall or the more expensive ultimate, the Goliath. I am of course not, for extra resistance, Imperial or Orc are fine too. As Stone, the Serpent, otherwise you will get issues to sustain the Brawler spams. 
Espa food, the Arteum takeaway broth. Potions, I only used the resistance potions, with stamina, HP and almost 6k physical resistance. Quick look on the CPs. Blue ones are Biting Aura, the new one Mastered Arms, which also empowers our Brawler hits, Duelist Rebuff, and Unassailable. Red CPs are Rejuvenation, Slippery, Jaggernaut, and Ironclad. That's the end of the video. If you want to see some gameplay footage with this build, I posted a link down below. Check it out. Next build will be a Stamina Sorcerer one, of course again, with the Twitch Master, with maybe some unusual sets this time. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and ring the bell, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and the support, have a nice day, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video, ciao!